Hi there, I was looking at how to create a mesh with code in Unity, and I found this video right here by CodeMonkey. I'll leave a link in description. You can check it out and get more information about the whole process behind this. But I decided to try it out and make this in Bolt. So here's my Bolt project, and right here I created a new game object, and inside there, instead of adding the mesh filter and the mesh render manually, I added those components but I have nothing selected for the mesh. Also, I passed in a sample material for my material list in the mesh render. Now let's take a look at the flow graph that creates that mesh. So here is how the flow graph looks like. Right here, I create a list of vertices, then a list of UVs, and a list of triangles. The video in description has more details about how it works, so check that out. But one difference is inside Bolt, you have to use a list instead of an array. Other than that, it's pretty much the same as you would do it with the code. And right here, I create a new mesh on start, then set the vertices. And it is a set vertices unit that accepts a list vector three. There also is an option for mesh.vertices set but this one right here requires you to send in a vector array, which by default, Bolt does not have support for vector arrays. You'll have to use lists. One thing about lists, so this create list unit that I'm using, it has a limit of 10 elements that you can create this way, but if you need to add more elements to this list, you can either create another list and then use merge to merge those two lists together, or you can use the add list item right here. And you can chain these together to add all the vertices that you need. But this is just a simple example with four vertices and two triangles, just like in the Code Monkeys video. The only thing that I added is this right here, recalculate normals at the end. And I had to do that because I'm actually running a 3D game. So to fix the lighting for my mesh, I had to recalculate the, the normals and Unity calculates normals automatically. So let me click play and see what that's gonna create. So here we go in my game view, you can see that there's a new mesh and it has this material on it. If you go into the scene, I can go to the gizmos and select wired. And when you select it, you can see the two triangles that are in this mesh. So there we go. That's a quick getting started video with how to generate meshes. I was just researching this for my own project and decided to share it with you guys. Thanks for watching. Click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.